now. All now. right! <laughs> got a radio show! It's like Wolfman My Jack. best friend Simon Pegg is here. Hello. My name's Chris from the band Coldhead. <laughs> Ni Hao's on the desk. It's party time. You've got a posse down there. Play a record, man! Yes, who's on board? 81199, text in. It's Chris Martin and Simon P. It's such a big look! I can't I believe it. I've got a radio show. H-O-P, H-O-P, without the boy, H-O-P, in favour. Wow, S Club 7 have got a lot better. I'm rap, rap, rapping. Are you, what are you doing, Ty? I was rapping. I can't believe you've made it. Listen, I'm only here because I'm going to give you a little latter boy. I was on the radio once before when I was about eight. I was on the Seven Sound in Gloucester. My Cub Scout troop had an entire horse. And, on, uh, on air. On air. And uh, so I've got a bit of experience. So that's I'm just giving you some help. Go. Thanks. Um, after this, we've got the news <laughs> and the weather. <laughs> and some keyboards. We've got a game. Yes. Uh, we've got our own radio show. You have, mate. We've I'm just music. standing by. We've got guests. We've got games. It's all the fun of the fair on Radio 1 with me, Chris, and Simon, too. Playing some tunes just for you. Here's one now. It's a great tune. <laughs> <laughs> this could go on for about 20 minutes. I don't like this DJ business. <laughs> What's the next song? Uh, the next I'll tell you what it is. Leave. Rock God. Party. Oh, I love them. Well, I love them, too. I You've like been away them. in America. How could you know what they're doing? Uh, because I wasn't in America for five years. <laughs> It's Chris Martin on BBC Radio 1. What are you talking about? What is you? Is you? Lord, give me grace. It's amazing. My prediction for the year is that Block Party are going to take over. What do you think? I think a giant asteroid's going to hit the Earth. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Again? Um, we've got some text coming in, haven't we, Chris? Can't we talk about Block Party? Oh, if you like. You've got to give props. All right, here's some props. I met the um, singer name of Block Party. Name dropper. Kelly <laughs> Name dropper. Twice, and Paul McCartney. He and texted I'm, in. I'm it? friends with Jade Goody. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. No, God, no. no, no. Uh, PR disaster. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, let's, we better run through what we're going to do on our show, Simon. I think, look, there's lots of people that have, have texted in to say hello and saying some lovely things about you, saying they love Coldplay, that's your band. There's one that says they hate Coldplay. No, there's one that says Sod Chris, how cool Sod is Simon Sod Chris, Pegg? how cool is Simon Pegg? Paulie... Paulie Muck in Liverpool. I thought you were friends with Paul McCartney. Is that Paul McCartney? Hey, Chris, you know, I mean, I like you, but uh, Simon's great. <laughs> no, that's, it's funny, because last time we were all together, the three of us playing gin rummy, he was much more <laughs> into you. You've changed. Do you remember? I have changed. I've got to give a, a, a holler to Big K of Guildford. <laughs> what does Big is, K do? Is that what you meant? <laughs> um, I don't know. I wouldn't like to guess. What are we going to do on the show, Chris? I've got an idea, because I came up with a game... And I'd like to do a phone-in, if that's possible. If there's any young people out there listening to our show... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Every second you get more like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any of you young people out there who like popular music and would like to tune in to Radio 1 97.7 FM and listen to our show, or call in or text... What's the text, Nihal? It's 81199, Chris Martin of the band Coldplay. And the game is called Helping With Your Homework. Yes. Because <laughs> I, th I thought... I haven't done homework for a while, Not but I've still got a little bit of the old <laughs> nous. Four weeks, you've got an essay overdue, haven't you? You're brainy. These people at the back are crew are brainy. Uh-huh. Kev's brainy. I, figured, I thought a lot of people doing homework, they don't want to do it. You're actually What's a brainy. What's the capital of m France? London. <laughs> exactly. Does it have a popular jingle or any kind of musical interlude? It's got a jingle. It's got this goes like this. I, d I did it this afternoon with, uh, <laughs> Helping with your homework. <laughs> Easy. That's, that's better than... There was a drum beat, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that's the demo. This is better than fiction. <laughs> Helping with your homework. So text us, call us if you've got any problems with geography, science, maths, home economics, French. Not French, I don't like French. Uh, home, uh, love studies. Love. <laughs> you all, you feel, look, look, can we talk about where you've been? To me? After, after this record, what's next? This is an absolute corker by James Blunt. Lovely. No, sorry, by David Bowie. Lovely. Hit it, me <laughs> how. MIA there, and where were you in 92, the brand new track. Previously, the hottest record on Zane's show. It's from the new album, which was originally going to be produced by Timberland, but she produced herself. The track is all about her life in East London, and that, Chris, is how you pretend to be a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let my music talk. <laughs> For once. <sighs> where were you in 92? Uh, <sighs> I don't really want to go back there. I'll tell you where I was. Where were you? Mashed, mate. 
<laughs> you mean if you remember me too, man. Two, you weren't there? I mean, me too. I remember we just got McDonald's in Exeter for the first time. We used to go down there. God. I was crazy. on Exeter. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky The place girl. in Devon. I like it. I was out on my head on Aberdeen. What a great place. What a great place. We've got a bed going. Let's use it. Now, listen, <laughs> there's a hottest record in the world right now, uh, Christopher Martin. Now, you haven't introduced you yourself. Who? You haven't. Well, no one cares about me. Yeah, they do. Let's, let's talk I about do. you. No, let's not talk about You've me. got a great hat. Thank you. Hey, has anyone, has anyone right, sent right? their homework in yet? What's yeah. mine? Chopped liver? Your hat isn't brilliant, I have to say. Uh, can you see any better? Sorry, uh, Chris, do you mind doing the, the jingle for the homework? Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Help him with your homework. Come on, you rocking man. Help him. I added a bit. <laughs> Come on, let's rock. I do your homework. If you got geography, I do your homework. Why don't you send me your algebra? Your music is so preachy. Eight double one double nine <laughs> is the text number. It's you call us on 08700 100 Chris Martin wants to help you. And Simon. Why do you keep calling me Chris? I hate this. That's your name, your build-up business, though. Do you hear the jingle before Shut we came on? It's like, dum 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 Now! People, people are just Chris, tuning in right now. What, what, what should I call you? I don't know, man. That twat. <laughs> Steve! <laughs> Steve from the band... <laughs> wait. Hot. Neha, no, wait. Fun. We're going off the subject here. Yeah, homework. No, no, no. Well, we, yeah, we want help. We really want to do that because it's going to be fun. I'm very good when it comes to certain Marxist uh, critical uh, sort of theory, particularly the... OK, too boring. Move hege on. Hegemonic elite. Let's go to now, this... It's what? the hottest record in the world, definitely. I just want to say this is live radio, Chris and Simon. Can I tell the story about this, how I heard this you, song? You can, definitely. So we've been working very hard, and, and, a, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of times we've been just sitting around waiting for Hot Fuzz, the brand new comedy super ship from the, <laughs> from the makers of Little Britain. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be careful. <laughs> to be, no, so anyway, we were working through the night late, and one night I was super tired and I just laid down on my sofa and turned the TV on trying to look for some racist Big Brother stuff. <laughs> and this song came on. And that I don't, old porn. And, well, uh, that old porn. And this band came on, and it, I thought it was crazy, and uh, in a t very t uh, Westwood sense. And it was like one bit went into a heavy rock bit, went into another bit, went into a crazy mad bit. Oh. There was a guy with a microphone. Yeah. That's not unusual for a band. Keep talking. But anyway, the band, then I, then I was asleep, but I woke up, and then I saw it was called Enter Shikari. That is, my friends, the story of how I heard this track. Hit it! Remember, you can get into the chat room at www.bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1. That bloke Chris from that big band, Cole Something, is here. And Simon Pegg is here as well on BBC Radio 1. But go to the chat room because that's the only way you're going to be able to speak to Chris from Coldplay and Simon from Chris Pegg. and Simon. What's the time for, Si? It's time for the feature. Help, Help him with, with your homework. homework. I'm bored of that jingle already. It's, it's worse great. than yellow. Play it once more. It's not no. worse than yellow. It's worse than everything we've ever done. I'm depressed. How brilliant is that Arcade Fire song? I love the Arcade Fire. The, I just saw some that guy from The View. Oh, they're, yeah, they're brilliant. They're There's right. a lot of brilliant bands, man. It's a good time for music. We're, us old dinosaurs who are I nearly 29. I once. Did you? Yeah, I really did. What kind so, of arcade? Let's play this game. Yeah. Well, it's not really a game. For some people, it's a serious matter of, you know, GCSEs. My sister, I'd like to give big, big props, big shouts, we'll do, we'll do, big okay. hellos, and to her boyfriend, who'll be embarrassed by that. Have you got a sister? I have got a younger sister, yes. Let's send her big props. Big props to Katie Pegg. Big peas to keep it wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep it wild. Look, now we have Rebecca Nihal. who okay. needs help Rebecca, with our homework. what a beautiful name. Rebecca, would you like to speak to uh, Chris Martin? Hello, Rebecca. About Hi. Homework. How's it going? Um, fine, thanks. What's the problem? Come um, on. In, in English, we're writing a love sonnet. It's like a poem, and um, it needs to rhyme romantic words at the end, and I'm Easy. totally stuck. <laughs> What's, read us what you've got so far. Oh, I haven't got it with me. <laughs> Chris is the best rhymer in England. Check it out. Give me a word. Um. Um. Heart. Maybe bum. I'll tell you one that's really good that Shakespeare used to always do. Maybe and baby. Brilliant. Always good together. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, wait. You're not taking this seriously. Rebecca, what, where's your homework? Are you out partying? What's going on? Um, no, I'm in my kitchen. You're in your kitchen on you the phone? the house. <laughs> it's in my oh, locker. Are you? I just have to take notes for it and then write it down. Okay, so what's the sonnet about? Um, romance. And romance, like wow. How old love. are you then? 13. Oh, so something that's yet to cross your little door. 
<laughs> so 14 <laughs> lines, 14 lines, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. So we need the last two lines. lines. I never had romance till I was 25. It has to end with a, wi a, with a wiming couplet. A wiming couplet? With a rhyming couplet. So, what so what's the line before, though? Something like, Oh my goodness, I think you're great. What about this? Meet me for a I look at deeply, the I look deeply in your eyes, your lovely breasts, your thunder thighs. <laughs> I think that would be really well with Rebecca 13 <laughs> in the kitchen. I've got one line, though. Got, wait, 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 wait. Can we hear Rebecca's line? Well, yeah, do it. What's, what's yours, Rebecca? Um, your eyes are like two shivering pools of blue. That's nice. There that's lovely. Are. Your and eyes are like got. two shivering pools, um, of, pools blue. of blue. I've got it. I've got it. Being with you really makes me need to do... No, hang on, I've got to, I've got to rethink <laughs> so that. Pure. I've got to rethink I'm it. So you just told me not to be nasty. I didn't say and nasty. And you're coming out with poo jokes. I didn't say poo. That was the point. Rebecca's 13, man. She knows what this stuff is. Your eyes are like two <laughs> shimmering <laughs> pools, pools of, of blue. blue. If I had my trunks on, I'd swim in you. That's really nice. How's that? That's really yeah, that's good. good. Don't use it. I'm going to keep that. Oh, okay. That is copyright Coldplay and can't be used. That will be on the next album, Wait, I guarantee Rebecca, it. Rebecca, that is fantastic. I like Rebecca. No, Don't let her go. No, we've got to go to Benny. We've what? got loads of... There's loads of homework. Okay, bye, Rebecca. Sleep well. Uh, Benny? Benny? Hello. Hello, mate. Are you there? Yeah, I'm good, 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 good. Me. Now, uh, Hello, Benny. Uh, you, you need you helping doing? with your homework, Benny, and Chris and Simon are here to... How old are you, Benny? Uh, I'm 16. 16, wow. Yeah. Well, it, it, I wouldn't say it's homework. It's more of a matter of interest. Go on, then, well. cheat. Well, I, I was just wondering, uh, what's the smallest state in America? The smallest state... That's not state... homework. This, this, is a, this is turned into a quiz. No, no, it hasn't. The smallest state well, in America you, is... You, know, you, can't, you can't blame me for trying, really. Benny, do you know what it is? Is you just, are you just do asking? Do you know what it is, no, Benny? It, it, is it I'm Hawaii? Sorry? Is it Hawaii? I'm stuck. So Benny? Think, is it South Carolina? It could be South Carolina. Let's check with our people. So can you Google it or something like that? Oh, what, God, do you think we've got computers here or something? We've got time for this sort of... Benny, listen, we'll get back yeah. to you on that. I have a feeling... Benny, Benny, I've just had a thought. Yeah, go for it. I don't know where it's come from, but I've just had a bit of inspiration. I've just been in the United States for a, okay, for a week, okay. and I seem to remember having a conversation about a state called Rhode Island. Mm. Rhode ah. Island. And I think you'll find that Rhode Island is the smallest state in America. In fact, we've, in fact we've, hey, we're ahead of you, Benny, because we've already got a jingle which says this. Okay. Rhode Island, it's tiny, but it's fun. You should visit it someday. Good. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rebecca, if you're still listening, use that. Yeah. I think, it, I think it's great. You're right. Thank, listen, Benny, thanks, thanks a lot. Your eyes are Let's like go to Craig. Craig? Well, I'm sorry. Hello. How are you, sir? Uh, not bad. Now, Chris and Simon are here to help you with your homework travails. Uh, hello, guys. How are you doing? Oh, hello, 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 Craig. Where are you from? Very well, thanks. Um, I'm from just outside Dundee, Brighty Ferry. Isn't that where the view are from? Uh, well, close, close, very close. Do you like the view? Yep, they're on fire. Like the they are on If you like the view, we do too, and then we like you. He's still yeah. with Your eyes are like two shimmering pools of view. And if you're cool, you like the view, and I do too. But not that other band <laughs> with the singer who can't spell Wednesday. <laughs> anyway. Which you're never going to tell us What's about? the question? Um, well, the question is, state three functions of isolate, isolating valves on a golf course. State three functions of isolating valves on a golf course. The smallest three state functions? Functions, just state three functions. So functions of what? <laughs> Isolating oh, valves well, on a golf course is that yeah. crazy? That was your homework is this? What, what, what are you what studying, Craig? Is this, Craig? Uh, um, I'm studying irrigation. Oh, irrigation. Okay. Okay. okay, so it's got something to do with water. Stick three <laughs> functions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is it to do with you know them ponds they have on the golf course? Um, yeah, uh, kind of. Oh, yeah. Keep, keep wait. And then the valve allows the water in at night to sleep, Sleeping and water. then lets it out in the morning, where it's all the sprightly Waked for the up. golfers. Oh. Like that. So oh. the three functions are irritability. <laughs> no, that's just coming from me. Oh, I see. So the three functions of an irrigation system on a golf course. Yeah. To um, to keep the greens green, to keep right. the bunkers bunky, and to keep the caddies spunky. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? I'll do for me. Great, right, thank you. you know, okay, sorry, man. I'm, we're used to some that. I think we better go to a song. <laughs> Thanks a lot for everyone who's called in. It's been great fun. Coming up after this, Chris Moyles. What song is this? R.E.M., Me and Honey. Oh, man, check this out if you want to sleep like a baby. Good night. <laughs> Simon, what about this? This is Rebecca. Okay. Your eyes are like two shimmering pools of blue. Mm -hmm. The night's delight has christened us anew. What do you think? You, you are like a modern-day William Shakespeare. In new music we trust on Radio 1.
If you want to find out more about them, and that is a serious tune, it's got to be said, myspace.com slash the milk tune. Tune. Now, who is in the chat room? The chat room is open at www.bbc.co.uk slash radio one. Click on chat now and you can be in there. Simon, who's in there? I'll tell you who's in the chat room. Uh, Chloe Botti, Donnie Claire, Minnie Munz, Cam Biker, Miozio, Meh, Shiny Sugar, Marmite, Melonhead, Lana, Matt, Stavros, Vina, Pinna, Nima, Sparks and Rose are all in the chat room. It must be sweaty in there. <laughs> Gaz, Sarah G, E. Bo, Simon, Fallout Boy. Oh no, that's another one. Uh, Roy, Chip Shop, Matt. Who's that? Lottie, Laura. Are you giving shouts? Chris, can I ask you something? Mm. You know, I said you look like you were a modern day William Shakespeare. Earlier on, you said I look like Paul Nicholas, which, I mean, what is it? Is it the hey. one? Is it the other? Because we're just good friends. Priceless, <laughs> 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 <Bryce's> coming up <laughs> after this. Oh, just, I just want to say, I only said you look like a, uh, a modern day William Shakespeare because you wear a lot of polo necks and they look like a rough, not because you're any good at rhyming. You say I look rough. No, you wear what you wear ruffs and hose. You love hose. I love hose. Anyway, the, the chat, chat room. room have asked, have asked the hose. Seriously, I don't think questions. I can't listen. I, now that I know Rebecca's listening, she's thirteen. Keep your language clean, Simon. Can I ask you not to dig yourself any deeper? That's all I'm going to say. What am I digging? All he did was mention about garden implements, wasn't it? Hose. Oh yeah, uh, hose, yeah. used for tilling the land. Right. Okay. Now, Wait, what's, what's this game? This this <laughs> this game is ask Chris and Simon questions. Have you got a jingle for that? <coughs> ask Simon, I've got the music. Simon Simon's got questions. the Simon's got the. Oh goodness, I wish I prepared. Chat for this. room question okay, time. This is the jingle. <laughs> Chat room ask Chris and Simon a question if you like. If you don't want to get on your flaming bike. There you go. Okay, now <laughs> this is a question uh, from J T Lamps, which is how did Chris and Simon meet? We met. How didn't we meet? A long time ago, through my uh, wife, and we came to. She was working on we were, a gig. We came to blows over her, didn't we? And then, excuse me. Everything you say sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Little tiny balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to a gig in the Millennium throat, Dome sorry. when you were just a. a what are you tiny, telling the real story? A tiny indie band. Yeah, because it's interesting. Who are we supporting? Uh, you weren't. You were on a bill with. Reef yeah, we were. We were supporting Top Loader. Top Loader. That's right. And. Um, and we met backstage and you came up to me like yeah. a goofy little geek and said, oh, I really like Big Train. Yeah. <laughs> you said to me, Yo, oh, you, mate, you got any of that stuff? Yeah, I was talking about Blue Tack. Um, <laughs> you love putting pictures up, don't you? You just put pictures I up all over the studio. Up. It's amazing. Right, now, the next question is uh, from Yellow. Got any tips on playing the guitar? That could, be, of course, be both for you. And could you give me a good name for my group? Oh, oh, I don't want too I much. I give you a yeah. great name for your group. Go on. Um, I had a great one. Carnival of Idiots. Carnival of that sounds to me like a sort of new metal. Why are you uh, having a go at everything I'm not, I see? I'm not, Come back from America. I'm not. I'm give you a hard saying. time. We're on live radio, For man. For me, that evokes a kind of you know uh, guy in. I used to be a big, big, big idiot, and I used. To <laughs> 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 I used to be a big pop star, sunshine, and back in the day, <laughs> when when you were just a little tiny mark on the comedy map, I was big time. I was big time. I had I had I had everything. I had the car. <laughs> I had the wife, I had everything. Now it's all not gone so well. But don't ever disrespect me again. Play a song, man. Play something sad. Please. Chris, if I don't can talk, you will die. Can, can I, can Please I, play a song. You sure you don't want me to ask you any more questions? No questions. I want a question. I want a question. All right, okay. Play okay. a song. No, just ask one question so I'm being excited. Whose show is this, man? Well, you invited him here, didn't you? You brought him here. Play a song. <laughs> Nihal, ask how, me a question. How many Jaffa oh, cakes did you fit in your mouth? Uh, <laughs> that oh, was, oh, that brilliant. Was well, that was lana. worth not having a song for. Hey, 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 hey. That's some lana. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Three, play the song. Sad. Spit, licking blues consciousness. Ouch. That was that very is hot. good, wasn't it? Man. I enjoyed That was bad, but in a rap sense. God, I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> You should go on that TV show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Competition. Nas is incredible. Jay Z is incredible. You've Who's, been working with Jay Z. Who do right? we have? Yeah. Who do we have in it's England? Point. MIA. Sway. Pretty amazing. Mike Skinner. Yeah. Who's that new guy? What's his name? Jamie B. Jamie T. Plan B. What? Bambi. Plan B. Yeah, Plan B. Okay. Kano. Hey. Okay. Now what's next? Uh, I think competition time is. What's it? this it's music underneath? Um, what, do you want your own music? Let's get rid of this music. It's terrible. Okay, uh, you've no, we've got competition. You've just yeah. broke someone's heart. I've just broken someone's rules and someone's heart. <laughs> You're here to break rules. Okay, listen, 
Um, it's competition time. It's coming up in the news. What have on you the hour. What have you? <laughs> <laughs> You're just dying to say that. Aren't you? <laughs> have we got a traffic. My report, can I tell you a story quickly before yeah, we do a competition? Can. My dad used to run a radio station. Radio One, that's how we got our big... No, it's not. It was a station in... Uh, he didn't even run it. Anyway, he worked there, whatever. There was a DJ who came to our house for a party. I sprayed him with some water. Three years later, he was a transvestite. Do you think that's because of the water? Well... Do you know who you remind <laughs> me of? Who? Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> <laughs> you tell a story, <laughs> but you get off the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ronnie, we've missed you. Hey, how was it being in extras? My producer said, don't, don't do extras, because Ricky's a nightmare. Um, how did it turn out? <laughs> Great. <laughs> it loads of goop. Ronnie, listen, do you have a question? <laughs> do you have a question for the competition? Yes, what are the three main functions of an isolation valve on a ghost golf course? On a ghost course. <laughs> what are the three main ghosts on a golf course? I went on a ghost Jack course. Nicholas. Really? Yeah, it was You learning scary. how to be a ghost? Um, no, the question is, what are the three, three main, main uses? functions? Functions. Functions. This is this is in honour of Craig. Yeah, of an isolation valve. On an I of an of oh, <laughs> you do it. What are <laughs> the three main functions of an isolation valve <laughs> on a golf course, ladies and gentlemen? Barbara Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> old school, another old school reference. There. Okay, play a song. Now, we did, can't what, follow that. What did, what did you bring in though to give away? <coughs> People oh, answered oh. that correctly. <laughs> we bought, um, we bought, uh, that's such a bad prize. What is oh, it? It's Signed records. Ebay-tastic. That's good. It's Ebay-tastic. That's but it's, that's it's in honour of the, the rest of the band Coldplay who are working as we speak. I was allowed to get off work for three hours to come and do this. They must be so relieved. <laughs> 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 it's funny you should say that. Why does everybody hate me all the time? <laughs> Remember, you can only answer that question answer. by being in the chat rooms at www.bbc.com. I'm not in the chat room. I don't even know the answer. One. I don't even know if Craig knows the answer. Well, we will get suggestions in, and the one that you like okay. best, uh, we can have. Uh, Ronnie, Chris will you take us to the next song? Yes, I will. Here comes another song. Breaks it's co op. It breaks co op. Go! <laughs> A lovely, lovely track by Hole. You're listening to Professor Christopher Martin and Lance Corporal Simon Pegg here on Radio One, taking over for Zane for the evening. Um, we're going to do. We're going to read some text now, but in a very special Radio One style. Hello, Chris. I've been waiting for your show. I've never seen anyone get into a performance like you. Please shout out to my love, Sam, Sonia. Hi, Radio One. I'm really disappointed in myself because I went 21 days without a drink and then today I've had a can. Now I'm depressed. Can you play some good... It cuts off there. I figure he fell off his park bench. Hey, hey, Chris. Can't wait to hear what shiny lights you've got in store for us tonight. Carrie in Cheshire. Shane in Cornwall on board. Big fan of Coldplay. Go, Chris, go. I'm on board. We love anyone who's a fan of Coldplay. There's only a few left. Good night, people. The songs aren't so good. They don't play the music like they... We can't. One thing I love about you, self-confidence. It's incredible. <laughs> You're brimming with well, it. You've got to be hungry if you want to be brilliant. And I want to be brilliant. <laughs> so, That's well, I had to stop story. that because I didn't know the next bit of the tune. Oh, of our tune. That's amazing. I, can I just say that I said to Chris before, let's do a sort of our tune thing, and he picked that music off the keyboard, having never played it before, in about two minutes. <laughs> very impressive. It was longer than that. It, it was two and a half minutes, but it was very, very impressive. You've got a good musical ear. You should do a pop tune. Do you think we could make it on to the X Factor? Uh, I hope not. Do you know what's you funny, actually? You have a news item you <clears> I tried. I, this is, I shouldn't be revealing this on TV. Go on. On radio, rather. <laughs> uh, but, um... So thick. <laughs> But I was watching um, Pop Idol, what's it called, X Factor, sorry? Yep. And I thought to my tiny brain, thought to itself, Chris, could you do that? Even, you know, you're in Coldplay and all, could you pass your audition? So I went into to kind of a, a closet part of um, our house. Mm hmm Have you come out yet? <laughs> <laughs> you are very funny. Just I went say to it. A, I went to a... The, and I tried to sing one of the songs they sing, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, um, Wishing on a Star. <laughs> 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 and, and even I had to admit, it's terrible. So the only thing that makes me worried is that I don't want some kid on that show who gets rejected in the first audition to think, oh, I'm terrible, I'm terrible. 
Do you see what my point I is? I totally agree. I think because it's a terrible thing that a lot of entertainment these days is people just telling other people that they're rubbish. Yeah. And people that are quite delicate as well and probably go away and, you know, self-harm. But some of these people are like 12 years old. God, it's gone dark. Are we Let's saying, have a phone are we in. saying reach for our dreams here? Is Re that what we're saying? Listen, yeah. kids, if you got onto X Factor and that Simon bloke tells you you're rubbish, don't listen to him. Go up to him, kick him in the nuts and go out and be a star. Rock on! And make records like Let's Make Love and Listen by CFK. Exactly. This is a band who got rejected in the first audition in Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle prelim <laughs> preliminaries. <laughs> Take that tribute band, fine. Oh my goodness, it's CSS. Now listen. <laughs> <laughs> We've got listening. some homework questions coming up for Chris Mayan after some music. Stay tuned for them because there are some kids out there that really need help. And isn't that from above? I love that song. I like to sing. I sing along. I hope the mic isn't on at this point. I'm not good. Chris, the mic's on. Oh. I love that song. I hope it's good. I like it very much. How long? Hey. You know what's coming up next? What? Um... That homework game we invented. <laughs> oh, great. That I don't think we'll use on tomorrow's show. I thought the next track was going to play. Oh, man. Chris. <laughs> Life during wartime there by Talking Heads. You're listening to... I didn't sound very enthusiastic. Life during wartime. Talking Heads. You're listening to Chris Martin, uh, aided and abetted by uh, Simon Pegg this evening on Radio 1. Chris, I've got some homework questions from the chat room for you. Hey. I want you to answer these sensibly mm -hmm. and truthfully. Mm -hmm. Question one. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was your worst and favourite subject at school? Uh, w the, the same, um... <clears throat> it's it's, it's be, not a homework it's question. It's got to be both. Do the next question. That's not a real homework Oh, question. Rose is going to be really disappointed. Okay, you? Rose, I'm sorry. My favourite subject was uh, music, obviously. Yeah. And my least favourite subject, uh... Home economics. Probably. I can't cook. Mills. What happens when oxygen and chlorine react? Okay, and here's another song now from... Uh, <laughs> Just tell me. Um, what happens when oxygen... Oh, it's, it's all a hell very, breaks loose. It's a very loose. easy answer. Oh, actually. God, have you ever, never seen that? It's a very easy answer. Oxygen, You're gonna kick oxygen and what? Chlorine. Man, I, I, it's going to sound like an idiot. No, no. But I'm going to say this. Go on. <laughs> Fire. Fire. No, the answer is... <laughs> The answer is, a superhero is born. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, you've got some simultaneous equations here. Y okay. equals X plus 5 and Y equals X squared minus 5. That's what the album was originally called, right? <laughs> uh, and, uh, Eddie, I have a homework question. These aren't I'm, proper at all. Look, I have a homework question. I need the typical daily movements of hill sheep farmers in the Lake District. 5 a.m., rise and shine. Mm -hmm. Bit of bread, Go bit on. of tea. Bit of brine. <laughs> Put on your Wellingtons, mm -hmm. if that's still what you're wearing in, in these days. Right, so far. Tweed, mm -hmm. belt, mm -hmm. jacket, puffer, hat, pipe, cap, stick. Out the door, 9.15. Good. No later. Fantastic. Put some tunes on, Arctic yeah. Monkeys. Yeah. Killer. Okay. On the hillside, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Check the sheep, count the sheep. Mm -hmm. Any black sheep, any white sheep, any red sheep, any sheep that have suddenly got in trouble overnight with a ram. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I, I'll tell you this later. Um, <laughs> he's that corbusing, is, he's corbusing again. <laughs> Make sure the ram isn't in with the ewes, uh -huh. because all hell breaks loose. That's right. You, the way you check that is because if the ewes have got a chalk blue mark on their back... And a big smile on their face. <laughs> big, big smile on their face. And the ram with the blue chalk on the front, that means the night has been passionate. I hate the way the sheep population has been ravaged by gang warfare. <laughs> what are you talking about? Blues and reds, man, fighting. It's like sheep on sheep crime. You don't, you, never, you don't even know what the countryside's about, so don't talk about it. I was grew up in Gloucester, actually. Well, I grew up in Devon, which is even more deep. Yeah, well, uh, my school used to fight your school, and yours <laughs> oh, my was school, the worst. My school used to come around your school with the secret to ambrosia cream rice, <laughs> and we wouldn't tell you, would you? Now, play a record. <laughs> That was The High Wire and the rather lovely St. Bees. I'm bleeping like that. Um, OK, Chris. Me, uh, and you can hear that on uh, MySpace. That's it, you can check it out on MySpace. MySpace seems to be the place to be. It's the place to be. I hang out there all the time. <laughs> That's a, you said they've been bought by someone, though. Me and six fake me's. <laughs> <laughs> do you, what do you, do you argue with yourself in chat rooms? I'm my own friend. Really? No. Um, we've got some Zane questions. We, we have indeed. Now, the questions between 1 and number 25, so uh, if you would like to give me a number between 14. 1 and... 14. Mm, uh, the reason I practice that is because, oh, not to mention transvestites again, but I was in a restaurant two days ago and there was a transvestite magician 
and she asked me uh, to pick a number between 1 and 20, I said 14, but it took me a bit longer. You're obsessed so with practice. Now. And here it is, the question. Interesting. Now, answer this. Um, when was the last time that you really, truly cried? I, he's not even addressing us personally. Isn't he? I'm offended by that. I felt like he is. whacked that down you somewhere. Do it again? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Interesting. Now, answer Chris, this. Chris, Simon. Um, <laughs> when was the last time you that you really, truly cried? I've never cried. <laughs> it's true, and I've tried to make you. I came out was it, when I was a you, baby. I just came out and went, all right? You came out when you were a baby. <laughs> As, yeah, but now I've gone back to being straight and got married. But I had a lovely gay child. I heard a rumour that H from Steps was going to come back in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? What, to the, to the house? <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, what about you, Chris? You cry all the time, don't you, when you're I, writing your music? Oh, hello! Well, I don't want to get cheesy, and I'm not trying to be... Well, I don't know. Oh, don't. Be honest. Don't be serious. Well, when was silly. the last time I cried? I can't tell you because it is actually too cheesy. The other time I cried, I cried yesterday actually a little bit because I was watching one of my best friends um, sing on a track and it was amazing. I, I, it doesn't really I make any sense. Time, I can tell you the really last time I really cried. I was on. I was making. We were making hot fuzz, and me and Nick Frost had an argument, and I was very tired. And I, I, I got quite upset, and I went into a tent, and I cried for five minutes. <laughs> really? Yeah. How old are you now? I was... I'm 36, Chris. It's funny, because in England you're not really allowed to cry, but when you... Look, I, haven't, I hadn't cried for two years before that. Really? Uh-huh. What about on your wedding day? Uh, I cried, but with joy. I cried on, <laughs> <laughs> I cried on your wedding day, because I had to watch someone I loved being <laughs> taken away from me. <laughs> So this My wife. Wait, wait, can we just... <laughs> can your wife, exactly. Can we have another question? Between one and yes, twenty-five? Yes. Oh, wait, can I just say this? Yeah, of course you can. It's your show. I want to talk about hot fuzz. Let's do the questions of, Wait, I don't give a flying hey. monkey about these questions. <laughs> They're generic. Everyone's been answering them. What people haven't been doing is talking to the star, the writer, the co-director, the one of the costume designers. <laughs> hot fuzz, possibly the most highly anticipated film this month. <laughs> This next year. month, actually. No, okay, next <laughs> month. <laughs> When's it come out, Simon? Uh, it comes out on February the 16th and okay. um, uh, nationally. So go down to your record shop, buy it. And get the soundtrack. Um, but it's going to be great. Anyway, but I don't want to download download Don't, don't, no, no, don't, 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 don't see it. How do you do this plug-in business? Please don't What's support. it about? It's about two cops, one cop. Just can I just say, please don't support piracy. A big yeah. <laughs> um, on the high seas. It's, what it's about, about a cop who finds himself in a small west country village, Rawr. and before long, all hell breaks loose. I support piracy. <laughs> and um, there's Chris the pig. <laughs> um, and uh, it's it's a it's an all out balls to the wall action cop comedy. What's, uh, and, uh, uh, great. And uh, I feel weird like plugging if you it let because me we're talk, I'd be okay, able I'm to sorry. Okay. It. Simon, number between one and twenty five, other no, than fourteen. Tw twenty one, please, Neil. Twenty one. What's the best festival you've ever been to as a punter? Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz comes out on February 16th, <laughs> and it is going to be amazing. amazing. The Hot like, Fuzz Festival. You like cop romps, you thought you liked rom -zom coms. Cop romps? <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a cop romp. <laughs> I just, we're going to use that. Yeah. That's great. Next question. Best okay. festival Number, for me uh, was other uh, than 14 and Glastonbury 87. That's Glastonbury 87. Who, 17, who headlined yeah. the Sunday night? Uh, Taj Mahal. I was only 17. Wow. wow. Where were you in 92? Can't remember. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Cool. You are pretty cool. Crazy. Next question. Seven. 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 Whoa. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what is your favourite album of all time? Definitely the yeah, soundtrack. Yeah, no, no, from it's a horrible question and what? almost impossible. Just answer it. Hot Fuzz soundtrack? I'd have to say Doolittle by the Pixies. Okay. He's gone serious, Chris. I know. He always, do, he always does this, you know, we go out on the pool, whatever. <laughs> 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 Someone's going to be very he annoyed by me. that comment. He's not a wingman. <laughs> he I leaves me in the lurch. <laughs> we sit down in a, in a bar, in some kind of bar. People come over. You haven't you, been you, in a bar for 12 years! Are you Simon Pegg? Yeah. And, and then he just leaves me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've never, I, I, the reason why, I've never said the phrase on the pull, and I'm glad I finally managed to say it at the age of 29. What website do you use the most? That's not Google, iTunes, YouTube, or somewhat pornographic? On the pull .com. <laughs> <laughs> Um Empire Online for me. That's oh! Funny. There are, of course, That's other magazines very... related to films in the marketplace. That was yeah. a serious Not the Kasabian um, no, the, album. No, the movie mag. Okay. What website do I see most often is um, uh, probably the news or NME or something. 
Why are you real laughing? serious, though? Why is it so unbelievable? Yeah, probably the news or enemy or something. <laughs> <laughs> and that one with all the drunk people. Uh, what are we supposed to do now? It's half past eight. Do you want another question? Let's have one more Or are you question. over it? Oh, OK, I'm, I'm not really into it, but... Number. <laughs> Number? Four. I don't really like this segment of the show, I've got to be honest. Can you just be a little bit more enthusiastic? Four. 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 Two thousand and six. A lot of great shows. A lot of great shows. What was your best one? Uh, Are you, Zane, are you talking about um, TV shows or or live music? Oh, no, both of them, mate. (laughs) Zane? (laughs) I can't talk now, mate. What's wrong, Zane? <laughs> I've, I've, I've got... You seem I'm, to be blushing to death. <laughs> I'm hoovering at the moment. I'd have to say the closing uh, series of Arrested Development was my favourite show on the television, which is one of the all-time best sitcoms ever, I think. What about Curb Your Enthusiasm? Also brilliant. What about, um... Yeah. Thanks for reminding me of that. Entourage? Entourage is great, yeah. What about Jules Holland? Chris is right. This segment isn't working. <laughs> Do you want a track? Yeah, man. What about My Bloody Valentine? Oh, OK. How, this is how to pick up radio deadness. Do it. This is unbelievably influential. It's pretty heavy. So, please... Please? please? So, please be careful with your ears. Play it. That was My Bloody Valentine and soon. This is a great show and I'm very much enjoying it. Coming up uh, later on, you're listening to Chris Martin and Simon Pegg, by the way. Uh, we've got a very exciting exclusive from Travis. We're going to have the answer to the competition and we're going to be helping out some more very desperate children with their homework and hopefully this time providing some educational assistance rather than just goofing off and sounding faintly flirty uh, with people we should never really be flirting with. I'm talking about Benny and his irrigation valves, um, which the question was about, actually, and we're going to tell you what the, uh, the answer to that was in a minute. You're so good at this DJ business. I did it before, I told you. I, I, I had a show on um, Ross on Y FM. It was, yeah. uh, it was a phone-in show about politics. Um, but in the spirit of the big homework theme that we've uh, got on today, tonight's show, um, we're going to be playing um, Hot Chip next and uh do you want to hear that now i'd I'd like like to pose for miles and keith uh and uh boy from school thank you how appropriate this is brilliant this one i'm gonna steal that that's great there's a little bit of in fact we already did steal it on a new song called the fall of man uh, we had this chorus which went like, um, After all, we just only man and I'm a do. But Will said it sounded too like, um... Like Hot Chip. No, well, he didn't pick up that plagiarism. He said it sounded like Sunday, Buddy Sunday. So it's gone. So if anyone wants to use this... Uh, what was it? After all, we just only mining on the moon. Like that, but it is, it is a bit nick. It's called Mining on the Moon, but I can't do it now because our, our blooming drummer... Has picked it up, but well, it, to be fair, it's like the fifty-eighth best song. It was so. a lovely, um, it was a lovely it's thing from Hot Chip uh, for a boy from school there who made it a very, very good song. Um, I believe we've got a question for you. You're so, um, you, I love how you're getting into this. So someone much. has to, Chris. Someone has to. <laughs> Dave from the Zootons was here with Abby yesterday, and they asked you. I'm a into question. it. Radio One. Yes. It's live. It's <laughs> 2043. Coming up, the news, the weather, the sport, the cricket. <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's happening in the cricket? What's going to happen to Shane Ward but from firstly, the X Factor? <laughs> firstly, what's that? Oh, it's Bobby. Uh, firstly, uh, say hello to Bobby. Hey, hey how you doing? It's Bobby. Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Uh, and uh, first up, here is a question from, from the, the Zootons. Zootons. Dave from the Zootons. How okay. many do 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 clocks you own in your house? Know what I mean? I wrote that. And that's why I'm rich. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, um, how many, what was the question? How, how many, many clocks? How many clocks I actually don't house. know any clocks. I, I think I heard Abby laughing in the background then. <laughs> You've got a big crush on it. No, oh. I haven't. My whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Red alert coming up out of this. The news, the weather, the politics, the sport, the cricket, the golf, the tennis, the X Factor. What's going to happen next year? We'll be telling you live in ten minutes. Simon, what's next? You're having a radiogasm. I'm having a radiogasm. Um, you need a question for Zane. A question for Zane. Chris has got, 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 got a proper question oh, for Zane. Oh, Simon, Simon? I can answer this question anyway. Chris has got 40 clocks in his house. I counted them. Yes. Um, a He's question a time for, lord. He is a time lord. A lord of time. Chris, you had a good question for Zane. I, actually, this is actually a genuinely it. serious question. Um, <laughs> when I see Zane on Gonzo or Radio One or whatever, and he's interview, he interviews so many bands, it, it, it's bonkers. 
and he always is so sweet to them. He always knows the name of the bass player and the drum, you know, everybody in the band. And he's mm. very, he knows what he's talking about. He's very good on his material. Mm. My question for Zane is this: mm. Is it difficult when you're in a band, breaks co-op, great band, to interview someone when you secretly believe your band is a lot better? Very That's interesting my question. question. That's a really good question. I believe we've got some homeworkers now, is that right, Nihal? We're gonna they're coming us. up later, Simon, they're coming but up what later. we're going to do is we're going to go to Secret Machines. Do you want to... Oh, no, I thought we were going to do, do that one first. Secret Machines is about? Okay, let me explain about this song. Okay. It's very nice. I'm the worst DJ in the world, man. I've only got 15 minutes left and I'm back to being a pop star. All right. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... Well, I, don't, I can't talk over the beginning. It's too good. Check it out. easy to say it, but that, that, there's nothing better than being um, in a band. Aww. It's funny, when you're inside a song, you suddenly feel so powerful and different, and I'm so glad I'm in a band and not a DJ, because when I'm being a DJ, I feel m mildly like a twat. But when Welcome I'm in a band, I feel... World. Right, Nihal, I'm sorry, well, yeah, I sympathise yeah, well, with you. thank you for that, mate. It's hard, because when you're on stage with your band, you feel like the world is your oyster and everything's going to be fine. It gives you some perspective. But how good is that? That's by the Secret Machines. No one really knows that song. It drives me crazy. It's a great song. There it is. I was in a band once. I know you were, and it was a comedy band. No, it wasn't comedy. Not everything I do is comedy, Chris. Okay, this radio show band. is an example of that. What? <laughs> Simon, I'm sorry for taking you lightly. What was the name of your band? God's Third Leg and the Black Candles. Goth outfit. Came out of Stratford, 1986. We had one song and it rocked. God what? What was it called? God's Third Leg and the Black Candles. <laughs> Yeah, what are you laughing? Were you, God, <laughs> you married me. Were you God's third leg? Uh, no, I was the drummer of God's third leg. You were, one, we the, you were one of the candles. Then we had a band called... Yeah, I was one of the candles. Well, now, is, there is were that implying candles. God God has a, a crutch or a stick or just... God? No, it was actually a quote from a play called Perubu, Chris. Get some literature inside your brain hole. <laughs> Should we get On some that subject, people? Yes. Neil, I'm sorry, we're terrible ah, at this job. OK, I wanted to actually start this quite seriously. That's right, you've undermined my entire when, profession. No, because I... I'm sorry, man. I, when I... <laughs> heard this girl we're about to speak to she's called Steph she sounds lovely she sounds mildly shy and it reminded me and I wanted to say this uh, as we come to the end of our DJing career <laughs> uh, that it's very incredible to me that only seven years ago I remember very clearly being on on the phone in my kitchen waiting to talk to the lovely beautiful gorgeous creature that is Joe Wiley oh. and I was just standing like this just going <laughs> shaking and she said hi Chris how you doing I was like I knew I'm gonna Terrible. And what, then, you, then it was like, what colour knickers are you wearing? And you yeah. hung up. <laughs> and then, exactly. And, and she so, never knew who did it. So, I want to just... I'm going to try and think of that. When we talk to the lovely Steph. Hit it. Steph. How are you doing, Hi. Steph? Hi. Hiya. How old are you? I'm 15. Wow, and what are you doing? Um, cramming for my chemistry ISA tomorrow. Wow. And you're in Wakefield, are you, Steph? I am. Are you doing GCSE, Steph? Yep. Same as my sister. What, uh -huh. what do you want to be when you're older? Um, a radio DJ, surprisingly. Really? Wow. Well, can we get we some We need lessons? some good ones. <laughs> so, how would you introduce the new song from The Killers? I, I wouldn't oh, know. Don't, wouldn't. Don't put her on the spot. Taste. She's got taste. <laughs> no, she hasn't got taste. I, I can't work it out. Steph, more importantly, you phoned up because you want to know the definition of accuracy, right? Yeah, because I've lost my sheet with the answer on. Really? You've really genuinely lost it? That's yeah, I can't and you've find got, it anywhere. You've got Kem tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're gen so we're gen finally, at the end of the show, we're going to actually be able to help out lovely Steph, who I can't work out if she likes the killers or not. I'm sure I she do does. I like the killers. Incredible. <laughs> Steph, can Here's I ask question. you a question? Before, you, before we give you the answer to this, because I think between us, me and Chris have got quite good chem. Yeah. Good chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to come over to your mic. Have you defaced your lab coat? I don't get a lab coat. Oh, my, when I was at school in the 80s, we all got a lab coat, and me and Lee B had wrote on it in pen. Lee B, go and, uh, and squirted distilled water in each other's pockets. Everybody else qualified. Aww. I was sent down to a lower grade group, but... Um, Guys, we've got about one minute left. Oh, OK. okay. Well, this, give us this is the answer. answer. This oh, is no, the I'm answer. sorry. Here's the answer. <laughs> the definition of accuracy is this. The degree of conformity of a measured or calculated value to its actual or specified value. Say it again. I'll repeat. The degree of conformity of a measured or calculated value to its actual or specified value. Steph, we love you. Good luck in the exam. We've got to move on because we've got to go. We've got other radio shows to do all over the world. We're in popular demand. I hope that helps, Steph. We're going to finish Thank with an incredible so exclusive. We're very privileged to play. Bye, Steph. We're very privileged to play it. It's a new song by the band Travis, the band that invented my band and lots of others, uh, along with Radiohead. Um, 
as in those two bands invented matters like mine. Here, get to the point, Chris. Simon, you've been a genius. Ni hao, thanks a lot. Bless you. <laughs> I can't believe you came in and saved my bacon on the DJ front. Good night, goodbye, Travis. Here we go. See ya. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. But we, I've just got to say one thing. If you want to listen again to this, go to www.bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1. Listen again to this amazing thing and go online to get the track listings as well. Thank you to everybody. Text me. Thanks, Neil. Thank you, Neil. Thanks, thanks, Steph. Thanks, uh, Benny. Bye, everyone.